Hi there, welcome back to the channel. And I just got home from the farmer's market, so I thought I would show you all the goodness that I got. So I have everything all set out here on the counter to show you before I put it away. So let's get to it. I got uh, four pounds of carrots because I plan to do a bunch of uh, soup this week and we use a lot of carrots anyway. I got two bunches of collard greens. They look so fresh and yummy. I do those in the Instant Pot and they come out delicious maybe like for 25 minutes. Um, sometimes I'll put chicken bouillon in there or a little um, Old Bay seasoning is good too. So that is exciting. I got some red yams. These look really good. I think they said they were from South Carolina. I got some cauliflower because I plan to do the mashed cauliflower and I bought the shredded fresh um, Parmesan cheese to go with that. And then I got one cucumber because I'm going to put that with some romaine and I already have some grape tomatoes for a salad tonight. I got um, some broccoli. I got two bunches, I just put one here, but we like to roast that in the oven with garlic and olive oil, salt and pepper. Yummy, yummy. Uh, I got three packages, just small packages of chicken um, for knives that it's just hubby and I, so that will be good and convenient. Uh, they had grouper, which is straight from the Gulf of Mexico, so I got three fillets. I thought I'd do that tonight with some olive oil and lemon pepper seasoning, so that will be good in the oven. I'll probably do the sweet potatoes with that. That sounds kind of filling, you know, fish is a little on the lighter side, so you need something with a little, <laughs> a little substance to it. Um, and I think we have some leftover rice um, also, so I might do the broccoli, a little bit of broccoli in the oven, so. Anyway, got another bag of yellow onions. We use those quite a bit for just about everything. And hubby really loves cantaloupe. I like it too, but he really loves it. So I just got some already pre-cut. Look at this, you guys, fresh cranberries. I am not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but you know, it's the season. <laughs> I think I still have a bag in the freezer from last year. I probably should do find a recipe for some uh, somewhat low calorie muffins or something, but they looked so festive, I had to buy them. Um, and I got a bunch of bananas. I got some ham lunch meat uh, for my dad, primarily. I might have like one slice, not too much though. And then again, the Parmesan cheese. And I got some fresh berries, some blackberries, raspberries, and bl jumbo blueberries. They look really good. And look at this, you guys. They had some bean soup mix kind of already put together. One of my very favorite soups is split pea soup. And so this is a combination of yellow and green split pea soup. And they come with seasoning packs. I don't usually use the seasoning pack that they provide. I usually just prefer to put my own chicken bouillon in them, but we'll see. See if it passes the smell test. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is the split pea variety. This was uh, minestrone. And then this one is just a four bean uh, soup mix. So I love bean soup. This is a really nice lunch um, thing to just throw in the instant pot. I did that the other day before my dad's um, cataract surgery. <laughs> Actually at like five o'clock in the morning I threw um, some, I had some 15 bean soup mix in the cabinet and so I just put that with some um, chicken bouillon and water in the instant pot for like, I think I cooked it for 30 minutes, probably could have gotten away with 20, 25, but um, that was a nice lunch when I came back home. So look at this, you guys. <laughs> they got me on the apple butter. I haven't had apple butter in forever, but they had a sign by it. It said it's fall, y'all. <laughs> So um, anyway, I'll have a little bit of that. My dad might like to try that and my husband too. So thought I would try that and look at this, you guys. They had eggnog, oh my goodness. Now I'm just going to have a tiny, tiny taste of this, but my son and my husband and possibly my dad might enjoy this too, but I couldn't believe. And this one is pumpkin spiced eggnog. So that's interesting. Um, Dakin Farms is a local farm, not too far, and they honestly have the very best milk. Um, I actually got my 
sun just a small thing of the chocolate milk because they have the chocolate milk that tastes like chocolate milk did when you were a kid <laughs> it's just really good um not that i drink milk these days but so yep splurged on that and then lastly this is not for me this is for my dad um i figured he could use uh he's always looking for cookies so he could use a little pick me up after his cataract surgery so that is what I got. We have a freezer full that we really need to work through um, in terms of meat. Um, so yeah, we didn't need too much. Got, like I said, just a little bit of chicken and some fish. But it always makes me excited to see all the fresh produce and have the fresh options for dinner. I just, these days we hardly ever fix um, frozen vegetables because we have access to all the fresh and so much more nutrients and um, it's just it tastes so much better of course frozen if you can't get the fresh but definitely prefer the fresh <laughs> so hope you've enjoyed this comment below what was your favorite item um, I have to say really the grouper was really a nice find for me today I'm excited about that with some lemon pepper tonight of course, you know, the um, inner fat child is happy about the egg, <laughs> <Not like laughs> but I will only have one sip, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about the soup mixes too. So yep, lots of goodness, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item is. I hope you're making some healthy choices today, and I will see you soon. God bless.